Black holes are the most powerful things in the universe. I even didn't jerk off today before stream, so I saved more energy. You could Strong play one to rip whole stars one, into atom-sized pieces. Well, this is scary enough. They have an even more powerful and dark property. They might delete the universe itself. That sounds, from my amateur's perspective, that sounds a bit <coughs> unscientific and stupid. Let's watch the video. I don't think this would happen. He's saving it for on stream. Maybe I'm doing it right now. Who knows? Black holes in a nutshell. A black hole appears when an extraordinary amount of matter is concentrated in a tiny space. At their center, gravity is almost infinitely strong, and what, whatever gets What actually is a singularity? Isn't uh, my, my opinion is a singularity is a state in a system in which nothing changes anymore. You reach the ultimate zenith. That's my, op I I think so. In a dynamical social system, a context in which a small change can cause a larger effect. Uh, it's when everything is inside and into an indefinitely small point. Sometimes you use the word singularity like in a, in a socio context. Technological singularity, a hypothetical moment in time where any physically conceivable level of technology advancement is attained instantaneously. That kind of what I meant in a bit. I'm going to say something and tell me if I'm right. When I research every technology in Hoi4, I reach the Hoi4 technological singularity. Is that wrong? It's probably wrong. A gravitational singularity, space, time singularity, or simply singularity, is a location in space-time where the density and gravitational field of a celestial body is predicted to become infinite by general relativity in a way that does not depend on the coordinate system. So your mom is a singularity because she has infinite mass? Epic, man. Epic. Yes, I'm funny as fuck. I know. Please subscribe. Close is ripped into its elementary particles. Morning. Not Morning. even light can escape black holes and so we perceive them as spheres of blackness. If you were to fall into a black hole, nothing bad would happen until well after you crossed its outer border, the event horizon. You can imagine this as swimming in a river that ends in an... When I was a kid, I always said, man, when I'm 90 years old, I'm going to fly into a black hole and see what happens. Because I was a kid, I didn't realize black holes are very far away. Enormous <laughs> waterfall. As you float along, imperceptibly, the stream gets faster and faster even if you can't see the waterfall yet. You could swim to safety until, without even noticing it, you cross the point of no return. No matter how fast you try to swim now, the stream will pull you towards certain death. Nothing can escape a black hole waterfall once it gets too close. This border completely separates black holes from the rest of the universe. We can't access them unless we're willing to never return. So there's no way of telling what's really going on inside Isn't that black scary? hole. Sometimes I think, once again, I obviously don't know shit about this. I'm just an idiot. I sometimes think that humans just like to romanticize stuff. Like we're romanticizing black holes. Oh, if I go inside a black hole, I will go to a different universe. I think just, you're just going to die and that's it. And there's nothing there. It's just some physical stuff. Holes. But we have a few ideas about what's going like on to right at their stuff. very edges. Black holes radiate their mass away, like a hot pot on a stove losing its water as steam. This is called Hawking radiation. Yeah. Black holes constantly lose an extremely tight. In the movie uh, Brief History of Time with Eddie Redmayne, right? He finds this radiation. Dude, what? Watching X rays flung out into the universe by the supermassive black hole at the center of galaxy of a galaxy, 800 million light years away, Stanford University astrophysics Dan Wilkins noticed an intriguing pattern. He observed a series of bright flares of X rays, exciting but not un unprecedented. And then the telescope recorded something unexpected. Additional flashes of X-rays that were smaller, later, and of different colors than the bright flares. Make you chemtech. According to theory, these luminous echoes were consistent with X-rays reflected from behind the black hole. But even a basic understanding of black holes tells us that it's a strange place for light to come from. I, I don't. I'm an idiot. He he saw. He could prove that X-rays are coming out of a black hole. But I thought black holes swallow everything and nothing can get out. Any light that goes into the black hole doesn't come out. So we shouldn't be able to see anything that's behind the black hole, said Wilkins, who works at... Uh, uh. It is another strange characteristic of the black hole, however, that makes the observation possible. The reason we can see these X-rays is because that the black hole is warping space, bending light and twisting magnetic fields around itself. XMM Newton has for the first time singled out light coming from behind a black hole. This is a black hole, 30 million kilometers. 
10 million times the sun. Jeez, this is unimaginable, right? And an X-ray flare lasting 2.5 hours is coming out. They also have Corona there. He have to wear. They have to wear a mask. And they're saying that that X-ray came from behind the black hole. Okay. I, 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 the amount of their mass, a process that's unbelievably slow. It will take a black hole with the mass of our sun 10,000 billion, 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 billion years to lose 0.000001% of its mass. Isn't that fucking mental? This is happening constantly and... Kind of the same time that I need to enjoy CK3. Uh, will you ever watch 140k lore videos? Nah, probably. And as it goes on, it speeds up more and more. In the far, far future, when the last star in the universe has been dead for trillions of years, All the black will holes die. will become tinier and tinier until they evaporate and disappear. Isn't that the scariest thing ever? Everybody knows the legendary video, uh, the f uh, history of the future, right? 20 minute video, millions of views, where if the current understanding of the human race is correct and the universe is expanding and losing energy and entropy, that at some point in time, in unimaginable time, the entire universe will be empty. All the suns will be dead. All the black holes will be gone and nothing is left. And if that isn't the scariest fucking thought ever, Jesus man. Watch his talkies, I watched the behind two just a bit of radiation. But this is a problem because in the process of disappearing, black holes might delete something fun. Holy shit, I think Belgian Butcher just explained the, the universe. Dude, I'm not even kidding, this is genius. Wasn't the universe empty before the Big Bang? I just said it looks like currently scientists believe that one day the universe will be complete emptiness. And then he says, but before the Big Bang, wasn't there also complete emptiness? Belgian Butcher, I think you just solved it, man. The universe will die and a new one will always be created. Dude. Fundamental Genius. information. Damn. Two. What is information? Information is nothing tangible. Don't ask chat. It's typically understood as a property of the arrangement of particles. What does this mean? Imagine a bunch of carbon atoms. Oh, Arrange them in a certain way and you get coal. Arrange them in a different way and you get a diamond. The atoms are the same. What changes is the information. If we make this more complex and add in a few more atoms, we get a banana. Change the arrangement of the atoms and we get a squirrel. The basic building blocks of everything in the universe are the same and don't care if they're part of a bird or a rock. That shit blows my mind. I mean, I'm going to say something. I don't know if it's true. You, the way you exist right now, are built out of atoms, right? That is pretty much confirmed. These atoms that you are made of, and this gives me a lot of hope for like life after that or something. The atoms that you consist of have been existing for almost 14 billion years since the Big Bang. And the atoms that make you have been other stuff before you existed. They were in other stuff, man. You are the result of atoms connecting itself for 14 billion years. Like we sometimes like to say, we are all made out of stardust. In a way we are, man. Isn't that fucking a beautiful thought? And one day you're gonna die, you will be buried, you will dissolve, and your atoms go into the ground, and then they become a tree or some shit. That shit is, you, you're always there in a way. I theorized about the same when I was at university. I would say, look at this hot chick, and then this ugly chick. Imagine that they are made up of the same chemical elements. The fuck? Is that, um, is that a meme about Good Will Hunting? No. You're just an idiot, right? Or a cup of coffee. I was a piece of Dino shit. Without Maybe. information, everything in the universe would be the same. According to the theory of quantum mechanics, information is indestructible. It might change shape, but it can never be lost. For example, if you... It can never be lost. So what the atoms you are made of will never ever be lost. Yes, you're dead and your consciousness is gone. But the thing that made you atoms will still be around till the end of time. You burn a piece of paper, you get ash. That ash will never become paper again. But if you were able to carefully collect every single carbon atom in the ash and measured the exact properties of the smoke and yeah. heat radiating from the fire, you could, in theory, Isn't that reconstruct mental? the paper. Imagine the human race would ever reach this technology. You can um, puzzle atoms together in your own way. 
that will that will, you will literally be god at that point but the information of the paper is still Imagine in that. the universe you could just it's create whatever lost. you want it's just hard to read if you could somehow measure every single atom and particle and wave of radiation in the universe you could see and track every bit of information there is hypothetically you could see the entire history of the universe right back to the big bang and here black holes trip us up information tells us how things are different from each other and what used to be what black holes do the opposite they take different things and make them the same they destroy information this creates the information paradox and this is a serious problem the also the information, information in the universe isn't infinite because it gets eaten by black holes paradox it's fundamental for all our laws of physics that information can never be lost existing not existing without information everything is relative when it comes to our understanding of reality we need absolutes how could we solve this paradox there are a few possibilities one information is lost irretrievably and forever this means we have to nix all our laws of physics throwing out a lot of stuff that's worked very well so far and start from scratch what those new laws of physics would look like i'm just studying physics man you must be fucking suicidal what's up Zanek? thank you man thank you dude what that means for us nobody knows this is a little frightening but also kind of exciting two information is hidden maybe a little part of the black hole splits off and forms a baby universe the information would be transferred into this new weird place where we could never so it looks like black holes are collecting information atoms and the question is what do they do with this information and a funny little fear will be they make a new universe or whatever or they make a bunch of hentai women i don't know observe or interact Jeez, with it but technically it would not be lost what do they do it's with like the having a broken collect? hard drive with all your family photos that you could never access sure it's nice that they've not been deleted but also not very helpful or maybe black holes don't disappear completely after the end of their life cycles but a little piece is left an information diamond like a cloud and then the new universe is made Wait, I don't understand. So, he's telling us black holes collect atoms, aka information, for infinite years. You can't even imagine. Then, after many, many years, black holes die. When a black hole completely is out of energy Hi. and is dead, where's all the information it collected all the time? Thank you, Seiya. Maybe when the final black hole is done, all the... Dude, I think I just solved it. I think I just solved it, thanks to uh, a Belgian. So, you have this many black holes in the universe, okay? And in the entire existence of the universe, which is finite, not infinite, they collect information. Here's my idea. All the black holes that exists, all the black holes that exists, dude, I, I'm probably, I probably just solved it, man. I think I just solved life. Look, there's many, many black holes in the universe, right? And they collect information, right? But they also slowly die. What if, what if, all the black holes that exist in the entire universe have a connection to a, the same space? A space we don't understand yet, but a space where all the black holes are connected. For the entire existence of the universe, this space is collecting all this information. As they just said, atoms, they are sucking them in and they're sending it to this space. Now, when the final black hole one day dies all the information of the entire universe is collected in the space and then something happens where the space is like oh i have all the information of the entire universe and then it explodes big bang a new universe is made i think i just solved life car filled with an infinite we amount boys. of information we can mess suicide now. <laughs> but there's a third option information is safe after all not lost or hidden Imagine one day in thousands of years they find out that yes it's true all the black holes connect to the same space. Tommy K will be on Wikipedia. Perhaps we've just been looking at this it. whole thing the wrong way. We know that black holes but there's trap more there's more than one black hole. Acrites, delete yourself, read a book, come back in a year. You didn't listen at all, you dumb fuck. Information and might delete it later, but we never thought about what they do with it in the meantime. Where do black holes store their information? A fucking ginger just why is it better time a ginger? Cosmic housekeeping. 
Let's create a black hole with dirty laundry. First, we fill up a room with laundry baskets. The more laundry you want to store, the more baskets you put in the room. But at some point, every single basket is full and the room is completely stacked. Not a single extra sock fits in. The room is at maximum room. capacity. And now it explodes, makes universe. But if like we still step. squeeze the sock in with a lot of energy and violence, the room collapses in on itself and forms a black hole. But the capacity of the room itself has not changed. Fitting in more stuff or information is still impossible. So what happens if we throw more laundry into it? The room itself gets a little bit bigger to make space for the new information. It turns out a black hole grows its surface by a tiny pixel for each bit of information we throw into it. In a nutshell, more information means more surface area. The information gets painted on the surface similar to what happens when we throw a stone into a pond. After the stone sinks to the bottom, we can't see it anymore, but we can tell that something went in from the ripples on the surface of the pond. Even the smallest black hole can store more information on its surface than all the data ever produced in human history. They do this by storing information in a type of pixel that is unbelievably tiny. Black holes are the ultimate hard drive. Computers black holes then. This is a bit like taking a paperback and turning it into an e-book. Two things that look completely different, but their content is the same. It's just encoded and memorized in another way. Black holes swallowing stars and planets is a bit like transferring a whole library onto an e-reader. This solution is called the holographic principle. But if it's correct, then everything we thought we knew about the universe is wrong. The universe is a hologram. If information is actually stored on the boundary of a black hole, the Hawking radiation has a chance of learning about the information encoded there and can carry it away. So, information is not lost when black holes fade away and we do not need to redo physics. The information paradox is resolved. But we still have to change our understanding of reality in a fundamental way. If everything that falls into the black hole is stored on its event horizon, that basically means that three-dimensional stuff is encoded on a flat surface. We have a name for this, a hologram. What? A hologram is like a 3D photo, a flat piece of plastic that encodes a three-dimensional image. A black hole is like a hologram because everything inside it is encoded on its event horizon. A person inside a black hole would experience their usual three-dimensional life. But for us on the outside, they are flattened images on the surface of the black hole. What? The consequence yeah, kinda, of this is counterintuitive, but stay with us for a moment. Black holes are very extreme objects, but they're still bound to the same rules as everything else. So if this crazy duality between 2D and 3D works for black holes, then it might work for the is whole... Is he saying that black holes are mangas? ...universe and you in it. Since a person inside a black hole would not realize that they're encoded on a flat surface, we might share the same fate. You really might be stretched over a flat screen at the end of the universe. The science I behind this is complicated anymore. and really weird, with toy universes to play with, string theory, and a lot of maths. We'll talk about this more in another okay. video. Hey, at the end, they lost me here. What? Flat surface? Hologram? What is the proof for that? I, don't, I didn't understand that.